Hello everyone, welcome back to more Pokemon Yellow, the let's play of the Rainbow Challenge variety. In the last episode, we got here to Victory Road after running into stupid Bidoofs who got in our way, and we're gonna get through this freaking puzzle today, because I'm not a big fan of Victory Road. Why? Because of these dumb circle things. You gotta set all these circles up. TM05, that is Mega Kick. I'm like a total pro and I know this stuff. What's up? Uh, I don't think we'll be bad on him. I think to reduce the time of these episodes, I'm definitely gonna like cut up some of these battles. Well, battles. Some battles. Like this one. Hello. Come on, I'll whip you. Oh. Uh, I'm not into that, actually. Uh, take your fun and game somewhere else. Because I'm not interested in you, Tamer. No. You can whip your... Yeah, I'm not gonna say what I was supposed to say. You know, I'm trying to keep this all filtered out and stuff. Keep this friendly and appropriate for my audience. But, if you're gonna be whipping your cat or otherwise Pussy Willow, uh, you need to step out the front door, sir. Cause I'm not dealing with it anymore. It's gonna bite me. It's gonna- Oh, shoot. Curse you, uh, super powerful screech attack. What? You'll pay for that. That was terrible. Oh, man. Look at that- that clutch. Four. PP, uh, HP. Man, my mouth, my mind is just in the gutter. But what isn't in the gutter is Smash Brothers. That's right, I got Smash Brothers. So if you guys don't know, Smash Brothers came out a couple of weeks ago, and I know everyone's going crazy about it. And the release date is like, and also the Wii U one has been announced for for a date. And it's like, why? I knew, I anticipated it was gonna be that day, cause from like, spoilage on the internet, cause the internet is nothing but spoilage. Really. But! My point I'm trying to make here is that I don't want to be disabled, but the other point I'm trying to make is that, uh, you know my wallet's gonna go broke cause Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire are coming out on the exact same day and it's like, ugh. I can't do it. Stop, stop, stop with the whipping in you endos. That's, that's not good. There are children here. And also, Smash Brothers is coming out on that day, so it's like, what? So, all these games are coming out, and it's like, what do I do? I can't handle it, but I have my 3DS one in my hand. It also came with a lovely skin update, but I'm not getting that right now, because uh, it doesn't have my beautiful Isabel. I just want Isabel. Is that too much to ask for? I think not. It's the best mystery of mine. Very pink, very cute, and very creepy. So I thought I'd get into a little bit of what I think about the Smash Brothers game so far for 3 years, because I've been playing it for quite a bit. It's a lot of fun, but I haven't got too much into the multiplayer because everyone needs to own a copy, so I'm not keen on that part because, you know, I like playing with everybody, because my sister, she can't play at all because we only have one 3DS. And also, we only have one copy of the game, which is dumb to me. That's what I love about the actual, uh console versions is that you can like play with other people so it's like oh you're not lonely and stuff you are not a weirdo so i'm pretty sure this boulder here uh we'll we'll push it but for now i'm gonna give a little bit of action because i think sir's about uh we'll switch him up no well we won't i just wasted some time there but that's okay because i really want that item child prodigy yes that's me so characters i've been using uh firstly i want to say how disappointed i am in myself because I haven't been playing Villager too much. And to me, that's like the biggest disappointment of all. Because I love Villager as a person in my Animal Crossing games. I'm a cruel Animal Crossing nerd. But you know what? It's just... Villager controls so strangely in this game. It has certain good moves, but the KO moves are just like... Really weird. It has... And why would you use that on that? X attack, weirdo. Why would you use like... It's like weird. It has like the bowling ball, which I appreciate. Uh, it also has like the weed plucking. See, generally when I do like uh, attacks, I generally use smash attacks, but it's more of its uh, powerful moves are actually just its tilt move, which is very odd to me. For instance, you have like things like, um, what is it? Weed plucking. That's a pretty strong move. It does lethal damage. You have a little twirling stick up in the air. It's like, whoa, that does a lot. But then you have like, your regular, like your down smash is just like a shovel, which I don't think is very effective. But tree, I generally like using the tree, and it's like, 
man oh man. If I- I tend to forget setting up the tree because there's so many steps like, what? I just want to get to the whole thing. But the tree kills, so satisfying. So satisfying. Like a falcon punch in the face. Speaking of falcon punch, I played a bit of Wi-Fi, but I've always lost for glory mode because those people are crazy. They are so crazy. But that's okay because I did pick up a few tips for myself. Thanks to some online tips I had from the actual game itself. The game has tips and it taught me how to like glide close to the ground with Peach. And I was like, I'm super excited to do that because Peach was generally my the character I went for. I know she's evil and stuff, but you know what? Her rainbows. She has rainbows now and people with rainbows are A-OK -okay with me. Except Yoshi. Because Yoshi was supposed to be more powerful with these rainbows, but no. Yoshi's not more powerful with these rainbows. They lied. He stands up better. Oh my. Such great power. It worked for Bowser. It doesn't work for Yoshi. I don't think anyone's like a serious competitive Yoshi player. If you are, you know what? You should totally let me know because I would greatly love to know that. And I'm definitely sure that this path is not the path we're doing, but I'm going to show this off anyways because it is of equal importance to show the- Oh, come on. No! I put a rappel up. Do your job, and do it properly. That's it. I don't want to hear any more about it. Sorry, Sprout. Run. Run away. We're gonna actually heal up for a bit. Because I have all these super potions that I don't need. Although, to be fair, most of my Pokemon can use super potions still, which is quite surprising. You know, the newer games, your Pokemon are like super buff and muscular and stuff. And that opened up a panel, and I thought that was the item, but no. No? Fine. Forget it. No item... I don't think there even was there. I don't think there even was there. An item there. Excuse me, moi. Ugh. I said it hell. You just saw it, right? Whatever. These levels are dumb. Man, oh man. 49. Stupid. If you were a better Pokemon, maybe. But I'm definitely gonna come back here to train off screen because we need to get ready for Lorelei and... Not just floral, like the whole Elite Four. The Elite Four is gonna be tough. And we're getting all these wonderful, wonderful TMs. Explosion! I don't want that! Did you not see me throw out self destruct? If you didn't, then that's something you just patch up on because I'm pretty cool like that. Up to all the time with these dumb rock Pokemon. Can we just have like a, a super ultra. Does Master Hull keep everything away regardless of what the level was. I got so distracted I didn't even go back to check what the heck that was. So, oh, man oh man. It's not good, but take my word for it, if you go down those stairs, it opens up a new path for you. I think. No, I'm pretty sure it's for this path. This path was probably blocked off. Trainers, let's seek stronger opponents. That's right, cool lady. Cool baby. Cool baby. Man, these girls and their whips. Which... Yeah. <laughs> There's Parasect. I fought a Parasect off screen. I was worried I wasn't going to be able to show that. But you know what? I got it on. And that's good. That's good. These Parasects generally have score, which is a fully accurate move. I had this whole debate with my friend before. It's like, is score actually 100% uh, accurate? It's like, yeah, I'm, I'm pretty confident. I think he was doubtful in a, in a sense because I said Lovely Kiss was act. 100% accurate, but I thought it was. But I know Spore is for a fact because everyone uses freaking Spore in competitive battles, but luckily later on, Grass Pokemon are bosses. And rest, rest your soul, poor Sir Sprout. But that's okay because that's your own fault. Your own fault for doubting me. We're gonna send a Pikachu, Cracker, my sister named Cracker. If you haven't seen the first episode, it's, it's been quite a while since the first episode, let's be honest. Seven months. Holy crap. Holy craziness! Man, that was such a long time. I know. I'm sorry, this project's been going on forever, but at least it's not a whole year. Because this project is almost done, by the way. Not everything's recorded yet, but we're near the end. Bonus episodes will definitely be coming up, and... Uh-oh. Chansey! So cute, I actually have a Chansey. I was considering using Chansey over, uh good old Kinky, but I'm gonna show you why. Because this thing just takes hits- oh wow, that took a hit quite well, actually. Well, that's because 
Crumb, you're lame. You're supposed to be a boss, and you're blowing it. Man. So that thing got us. I was trying to show that Chansey has very poor defenses, but Crumb has very poor attacks. Let's just be real. Man. Chansey, you're just like broken. Minimize, turn into a little dot. <laughs> Look at that little dot. So cute. But that little dot is no chance. Again, stuff. I'm just slurring my words together. Ugh. I'm just getting better with the commentary, I think. Maybe. Maybe. But in the meantime, we're learning agility. I don't want agility. Cool trainer female. Your butt has been kicked. Kick the butts of the most popular girls in school. I just saw a trailer for that. You know, last week. So it's like, what? That show's coming back. That show is bonkers. That show is crazy. But you gotta be, like, appropriate enough to watch it. I don't want kids, eight-year-old children watching that show, because it's what popular girls in school, you know? But that show is crazy, but I love it. I love all these online shows. You know, it's not just, like, old cartoon stuff I'm all used to and stuff like that. But I love all these <laughs> weirdo shows, because that's what I am. I'm a total weirdo. I think that's what the boulder up there that we pushed earlier cleared out. It cleared out that. So that's definitely important to note note about that and we're definitely almost to the end definitely <laughs> i'm just saying all these words together but that's because pikachu don't get stuck there please pinky is falling behind in the levels but pinky is a boss and pinky will redeem ourselves the loading in this game is just ridiculous and i'm getting tired of all these wild pokemon go away i'm sorry to all you headphone users i'm just looking at like how Audacity is recording it, and it's like, whoa, so high-pitched. That's the thing I worry about recording. I'm pretty sure a lot of people worry that people won't be able to hear you during recording. I'm certainly worried about that, because in real life, I'm pretty soft-spoken. I'm soft-spoken here, too, I feel like, but, you know, it's okay. When, when I'm around people that I generally know, I'm, like, totally stupid. I talk in the most, stupid, in the stu most stupidest ways possible. It's like, whoa! Kind of like what I do here. <laughs> I don't know, maybe it's just something that you learn. And I don't want to learn about your guillotine, actually. Take a try attack to the face, you creepy crab. This is really delicious looking crab. I'm just saying. Look at that shine. Makes me want crab right now. Mr. Crabs? No, just crab to eat. Because crab... I like it, because it's sweet. Crab is sweet. And my family thinks that I generally don't like crab. Um, I'm not crazy about crab. I think it's good, but why am I switching out? I have psychic. I have the psychic. Let's go. Barrier that increases the defense of the Pokemon. Greatly rose. Um, excuse me, more. But regardless, I feel like I was talking about Smash a while ago, and I got sidetracked with all this talk about food or something. Summit. I don't know. But back to Smash. So Peach is something I'm use generally. Zelda. I'm surprised about Zelda, because Zelda, she has like this new, uh, thing. Like, she has more exploding moves in replacement of Sheik. It's like, I don't need you, I can explode on my own. <laughs> I'm weird. Whatever. You guys know, Pinky also leveled to 44. We're getting balanced stuff here. And Blastoise is the last Pokemon. Are you like that, uh, water trainer? The one from the Pokemon movie? That would make sense. I don't know if he had all these exact Pokemon, but you know what? Maybe you're like that little that girl, but you're a boy. Shell Shocker. <laughs> Shell Shocker. Yes, that is exactly what this is. But Cilantro needs to dance for you, and I'm slightly disappointed that didn't kill, but that's okay. So Zelda, I've been using. Uh, who else I've been using? Lucina. I'm trying to get used to you, Lucina, because she has the best color palette in the world. Just saying, based on all Fire Emblem Awakening characters, it's like whoa. You're cute. I'm slightly disappointed they didn't have Yukata, uh, Lucina, but that's okay. They have Swimsuit Shulk, all the fan service for you ladies, except he's kind of gross looking. <laughs> I'm sorry. I can't use Shulk. I don't, I'm just not good with Shulk. Bellsprout, what are you doing? What are you doing with your life? This is like... I really think that they're throwing it back to the Pokemon episodes in the anime. I'm pretty sure there's like this trainer, Jeanette. She had this boss. What? That- that is a lie. How did you know? How did you know how to use that Hyper Potion, actually? This game is just lying to me every single day of my life. 
an unnecessary crits for the win. Yeah. Okay. Jeanette, you need to go down. We're gonna teach you a lesson that you'll never forget. In terms of a fire blast, because the weeping bell line, bell sport line, is not as good. What? I suppose you're gonna use like another hyper. Do you see that? That that's dumb. Look at that. You're forever red. What you get? You're not red anymore, but you were red for a second. You were red for a second. Don't lie to me. I feel like I have to like project my voice and all that stuff. But that's cool. But this line sucks compared to my beautiful Viola Plume line. Cilantro, teach, punish these non-believers. Not with a razor leaf. I know. Stop it. I can't learn the razor leaf. Don't make fun of me. Man, oh man. Critical hit. Oh, shoot. I should go for a try attack. Pinky, you got this. If you don't, then you are fired. Except kidding. Wow, level 45. Two level ups. Good job. I'm furious. I'm furious at how you could cheat using items on Pokemon that are dying. That's what I'm upset about. Crumb, take the front for now. I think we're almost done here. What am I supposed to do in here exactly? Oh, down there. Sorry. So this is going to be a long episode. We're already at the 16 minute mark. 16 minute mark. Counting. Hopefully that's right. I'm just looking at like, my recording, but you know what? It's fine. It's a long episode because this is a long cave. I haven't even fought everybody. And we're certainly going to be doing... What is this? Do we still have strength though? Yes. So that's the boulder you need to push. Because you can't get out that way. And I'm pretty sure there's nothing there. So this is the boulder you need. Please don't mess this up. Because if you do, I'm pretty sure you're stuck. I'm pretty sure you're stuck. You can actually get stuck in this game progression. I got stuck once in Seafoam Island, which is why I'm super terrified of that island. I was, this exact game I got stuck because the current just pushed me out and out and out. And it's like, how do I get out? I didn't even have any escape ropes. No escape ropes. And I was so sad. I had to restart my game because of it. But this game generally does that. It punishes players to be total weirdos. But yeah, I think we got it. That's the boulder you need to get out of this stupid cave. We're gonna- I'm gonna battle that guy off screen. Because I'm pretty sure there's one more trainer out here. Is there? Is there? Am I wrong? No, I am wrong. Okay, good. Here's the full restore. The obvious signs of things. And here we are! Indigo Plateau! I have to be silent because that music is incredible. Oh my god, and they had that unnecessary maze out in the front. But here we are, the Indigo Plateau. Oh my god, Pikachu, are you excited? Ah! So in the next episode, we will be... I'll be off screening, first of all, training up. And then afterwards, we'll be heading off to Elite Four, so... See you later, guys. Bye!